What's up everybody, Tom Pelissero out here at Winter Park in the basement. Too windy outside to do the video out there today. It's Friday, we're wrapping up the practice week for the Vikings before they take on the Detroit Lions Sunday at the Metrodome. Obviously a big game for a number of reasons, primary being they can't fall to 0-3 going into the bye week, especially with the schedule that they have coming out of it. One of the keys going into this game, without a question, is going to be the passing game being able to get up to speed. Now it's been suggested in several places in recent days that the offensive line and the protection has been one of the primary issues with this unit. To me, I mean, watched all the film, I don't really buy that that is the primary issue. There are times where Favre is getting hit low just as he throws, or he has hands in his face, and certainly there are areas where the offensive line can improve, but overall, looking at the entire line, the only player who's really struggling in protection at this point is Phil Lodehole who gave up several pressures last week to Cameron Wake. Obviously, there was also the play in the end zone where Vasante Shanko didn't get a good enough initial push, and Lodeholt let him get around the edge. But by and large, Favre has enough time. He's buying a little bit of time with his feet, but there are not egregious protection errors happening up front. Bryant McKinney, who gets a lot of crap from the fans, actually has played very well so far in protection. He did have one major ill-time slip-up, and I believe it was the second to last play against Miami where he let a player get the corner and got pressure on Favre and forced an incompletion. Yeah. Other than that, he's held up well. Yeah. What they need to be able to figure out is how they're going to help out uh, Phil Lodehold on the right side. And then on the flip side, this week, Brian McKinney's got to continue to do a good job against one of the tougher matchups he's going to face this year, uh, going up against Kyle Vandenbosch of the Lions. It's going to be really interesting to watch, but really, to me, the improvement has to begin, number one, with the receivers continuing to get on the same page with Brett Favre, and secondly, when Favre does have time, when receivers are open, he has to connect more often on those throws. Back with more on Sunday. See ya.